This is A2 Pure. We are currently in chapter four, which is integration, and we're starting then to look at differential equations. So any equation involving derivatives on one variable with respect to another variable is called a differential equation. Um, for example, dy by dx is x squared plus five, dy by dx is cos x sine y, or dy by dx is two y plus one. These equations are first order differential equations since the highest derivative that each contains is the first derivative of y with respect to x, as in it isn't d2y by dx squared, that would be second order. Uh, general and particular equations. So differential equations define some property common to, common to a family of curves. The general solution involving one or more arbitrary constants is the equation of any member of the family. A particular solution is the is is the equation of one member of that family. So if we consider one of the most straightforward ones we have here, dy by dx um, equals x, then y is going to be the integral of x with respect to x. So of course that's going to give us then y is a half x squared plus c. Now that's our general solution. It's general solution because we haven't worked out our c. And if we get more information, then we can work out our c. So we turn over the page. If some further information, uh, for example, boundary conditions is given, say x is 0 and y is 2, then we can find the c and so identify the particular solution with this property. So if we know y equals a half x squared plus c, which we had in the previous one, and we're going to substitute in x is 0 when y equals 2 that means y equals 0 plus 2 sorry that doesn't mean that that means excuse me losing my mind here subbing these in we get of course 2 equals 0 plus c and that gives us a value then of c is 2 um, so the particular solution of this one then is y equals a half x squared plus 2 and this is called our particular solution and um, it kind of talks sometimes kind of about a family of curves if you kind of think about the curve of y equals a half x squared so if we had a half x squared it would look kind of something like this uh, if we have a half x squared plus 2 it looks like this kind of crosses it's a similar curve or a half x uh, squared minus 3 it would then look like this and this is kind of a family of curves and the general solution i guess could generate any one of those the gradient's the same at any stage along there however it depends on where our y intercept is going to be for those so that's where that bit comes from yeah, on to the next wee bit then um so the general solution to the differential equation dy by dx equals f of x is given by y equals the integral f of x dx. Likewise, the general solution to dy by dx is g of y will be worked out then as follows. Um, so we have dy by dx is g of y. That means dx by dy, because g of y then is a function of y, of course, is 1 over um, g of the y, therefore x is then going to be the integral of 1 over g of y dy plus c. Uh, whenever you get into it, I wouldn't worry too much about that. I tend to just sort of separate the variables no matter what you have, and then we can work out. But let's look at a couple of examples in this case and see how we get on. Um, solve the differential equation dy by dx equals ln x, where x is greater than 0, given that y equals 2x equals 1. So that's our uh, boundary condition, so we can work out our particular solution, obviously. Um, so we're going to have y equals the integral of ln x dx. I'm not going to go through this one right now. This is this funny integration by parts one. You may remember from a few videos ago where we let um, our ln x um, is it equal u or the other way around and we then let we multiply it then by a 1 but if you integrate this you're going to get x ln x minus x plus c so what do we have y equals x ln x minus x plus c and that of course then is going to be our general solution because we still have the c in there to find out our uh, particular solution we are going to substitute x equal one and y equals two let's see if we can do it right this time um so two equals one ln one take away one plus c 
uh, one ln one just gives you zero the ln one is zero uh, so I guess the value of c is three so our particular solution then in this case is y equals x ln x minus x plus three and as I said that is our particular solution uh, next example then Uh, given that x is y is greater than this one of x, so the differential equation dy by dx equals 2y plus a half. I think that's to be a 2 there. Uh, because other than that, then this, this bit messes up whenever we work it out. Uh, dy by dx equals 2y plus 1. Express the solution in the form y equals f of x. So we have dy by dx equals 2y plus 1. It's a function of y, so as we did in the previous example, we're going to flip that upside down. dx by dy is 1 over 2y plus 1. That means x is going to be the integral of 1 over 2y plus 1 dy. And again, I hope you're not used to these sort of things. That's going to be an ln one. If you differentiate 2y plus 1, you get 2. So if we take a half out the front, then that's going to make that work first as a half. ln 2y plus 1 and plus c. And that then is our general solution. Now, we're not quite there with that as yet because we need to kind of rearrange it and ask this to get us in the form y, which is messy enough. Uh, but let's check and see. So we're going to take the c over the other side. So we're going to have x take away c is a half ln 2y plus 1. Decent move I think here would be to multiply by 2. So we're going to get 2 upon x minus c equals ln 2y plus 1. If we're trying to get the y on its own, uh, we obviously need to use our logs and use the e, e to the x. So this is going to turn into e to the 2x minus c equals 2y plus 1. And then rearranging and getting that on its own. Um, we're going to have y equals half e to the 2x minus c take away half. 